Hey class, and welcome to Lesson 10.5, Metric Measures. Let's begin by taking a look at our essential question. How can you compare and convert metric units? Well, let's take a look at our word problem. Using a map, Alex estimates the distance between his house and his grandparents' house to be about 15,000 meters. About how many kilometers away from his grandparents' house does Alex live? Well, let's underline the sentence that tells you what you are trying to find. Well, the sentence that tells me what I'm trying to find is going to be the one that ends in a question mark, and that is about how many kilometers away from his grandparents' house does Alex live? Now, the next thing is to circle the measurement you need to convert. So, the measurement we need to convert is his estimate. He estimates his grandparents' house to be about 15,000 meters away. The metric system is based on place value. Each unit is related to the next largest or next smallest unit by a power of 10. So we're going to look at a couple of different ways that we can do these conversions. One way is to convert 15,000 meters to kilometers. So step one says to find the relationship between the units. Meters are, and let's look, meters are, here's meters, one, two, three, so that would be three powers of 10 smaller than kilometers. So there are 1,000 meters and one kilometer. Okay, step two says determine the operation to be used. Well, I am converting from a, and we know that meters is smaller, so it's going to be a smaller unit to a, and we're going from meter to kilometer, so we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger or larger unit. So I will divide. We know that going from smaller to a bigger, we are going to divide. And step three says to convert. So the number of meters was 15,000 from our word problem, divided by, that's going to go in our circle, 1,000 equals 15. So Alex's house is 15 kilometers from his grandparents' house. Now, let's take a look at another way that we can do this, and that is to use a diagram. So Jamie made a bracelet 1.8 or 1 and 8 tenths decimeters long. How many millimeters long is Jamie's bracelet? So we're going to convert 1 and 8 tenths decimeters to millimeters. So step one is to show one and eight tenth decimeters. Since the unit is decimeters, place the decimal point to, so that the decimeters are the whole number unit. So we're going to place our decimeters so that the, it's the whole number unit. And that, as you can see, is going to be right there. Step two says to converse, convert, I'm sorry, Cross out the decimal and rewrite it so that millimeters will be the whole number unit. Write zeros to the left of the decimal point as needed to complete the whole number. Step three is to record the value with the new units. So one and eight tenths decimeters equals 180 millimeters because we've now moved over one, two place values, and we've added our zero. So Jamie's bracelet is 180 millimeters long. So now we're going to try this. Complete the equation to show the conversion. So we're going to convert 247 milligrams to centigrams, decigrams, and grams. So are the units being converted to a larger unit or a smaller unit? And in all of these cases, it's going to be converted to a larger unit. Should you multiply or divide by powers of 10 to convert? Well, since you're going from 
a smaller unit to a larger unit, you are going to divide. So 247 milligrams divided by 10 equals 24 and 7 tenths centigrams. 247 milligrams divided by 100 equals 2 and 47 hundredths decigrams. And 247 milligrams divided by 1,000 equals 0.247 grams. Now we're going to convert 3 and 9 tenths hectoliters to deciliters, liters, and deciliters. So are the units being converted to a larger unit or a smaller unit? And that's going to be a smaller unit. Should you multiply or divide by powers of 10 to convert? Well, since we're going from larger to smaller, we're going to multiply. So 3 and 9 tenths hectoliters times 10 equals 39 deciliters. 3 and 9 tenths hectoliters times 100 equals 390 liters. 3 and 9 tenths hectoliters times 1,000 equals 3,900 deciliters. Just remember, it's the same thing as what we did several chapters ago when we were multiplying and dividing by the powers of 10. So now, we'll look at our notes. So you need to pull out your math journal. I know we haven't done this in a couple lessons, but pull out your math journal and be sure to record the, today's lessons in your math journal. Remember that you can push pause if you need longer time in order to copy everything down. Now let's take a look at today's password for tonight's lesson. Mr. Reynolds used two pounds of peanuts to make trail mix. How many ounces of peanuts did he use? Is it A, 32 ounces, B, 16 ounces, C, 8 ounces, or D, 4 ounces? Be sure to record your answer in your journal and bring it with you to class tomorrow. I will see you then.